Aussie athlete. Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick view of my. Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick view of how I store my food when I'm at home in Australia during the summer. Basically, I just keep boxes of fruit and some vegetables on the floor here. I shop roughly weekly, maybe sometimes um, like a minimum of, of a minimum of. Um, there's always at least five days between when I when I go shopping, but. Yeah, sometimes even up to 10 days, depending on how much food I buy. So this is a box of bananas here. Not quite as ripe as those ones there. So I usually try to have a, um, two or three boxes of bananas at various stages of ripening. There's a few apples there um, that I got a great deal on. Mangoes here. Uh, the ones I put ones up on the counter here that are starting to, to get signs of breakdown. They're still totally fine, um, but um, they're just the ones to eat first. So I like to keep those up there. Uh, I've got some oranges, some trussed tomatoes, and uh, some cheap Rockies that I picked up. They're uh, super cheap, it's super sweet because they're nice and ripe. A couple of seeded watermelons. And basically I just work my way through these. I, it's all laid out nicely on the floor here. It's on cold, cool tiles, so it doesn't get too hot. Um, it's down low in the room, the heat, heat rises in the room, so even though it's summer, they're not getting too much heat being here in the middle of the room, with, um, even though there's no air conditioning on. Uh, pet peeve, stickers on fruit. I always peel those off before, before I put the compost in the garden. Um, yeah, so I just, uh, when the boxes get empty, so this one's nearly empty, once these, I'll move these apples in maybe into there, take the box out and, and uh, take that back to the fruit shop and they'll reuse those. Um, I'll usually have two or three boxes of oranges here, just ready to go. They last, they last pretty well, these ones. They don't, they don't, I don't tend to get much moldy, many, many going moldy on me, so I can afford to keep two or three boxes there on hand and, uh, and not have to shop as often. And yeah, just uh, plenty of seconds. I got these bananas for $12 for a case. Um, bananas are $2 a kilo at the moment, and this is a 13 kilo case. So, um, you know, that's less than half price. So it's, it's pretty, pretty good deal. And I buy these small sized tomatoes because, uh, they're much cheaper. I just, I just tell them I want either, um, cooking tomatoes or, or the small size. Uh, just ask them whatever ones they've got that are cheap and they, they bring out these. And they're, they're, they're delicious. Not, not the best in the world, tomatoes, but, um, but they're very good. They're very good. So that's very easy to manage my produce. I check, check it all every, every day if possible, uh, every second day at worst. And, uh, and that keeps on top of any breakdown. Don't have any fruit fly problems. I, I can't say a single fruit fly here at the moment, even though I've got quite an amount of fruit here. So happy days. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.